Another unilateral lift for your legs is a one-legged squat. And there are many ways to do one-legged squats. I'm going to show you the one that probably is um, maybe the easiest one to do and the one that makes you work that front leg or the one you're trying to work the most. And when I do this one, what I'm doing, again, I'm going to show you the bar. You can also do the dumbbells, which I'll show you here in a second. Is you take a little bit of step ahead here and then put your foot on that back bench. Again, you want to have a fairly good width stance between where the bar is, or the, sorry, where the, the bench is and where your foot is. So I'm going to kind of put my foot up here a little further and go back with it. And now the mechanics are the same as it was for a regular squat. I'm keeping my chest up nice and tall. I'm keeping my weight over my heel. I'm going down the ball parallel and coming straight back up with it. Okay, obviously the point is, I'm trying to work in this case, my right leg as much as possible. So you can try to leave your left leg past and try not to use it when you're doing the exercise. Okay, it's the same thing with my other leg here. Nice and tall, I go down, and I come back up. One benefit I really like of doing a one-legged squat is it forces someone to have a little bit of stretch in your hips. Because of that split position that I have when I do this exercise, a lot of people will get a lot of good stretch in this back leg. If you have someone that's doing a regular back squat or a front squat, and you notice that they have trouble keeping their heels flat on the floor, if they're doing this sort of thing, try doing a one-legged squat, and what you'll find is that they'll be able to keep that foot back better because their center of gravity is more evenly displaced over their body. So if you have someone that's got a lot of problems keeping their heels flat, whip out the one-legged squat here, and you might see those problems go away. In fact, you can go one step further than have them go back and try their back squat after doing maybe a set of one-legged squats. And you might find that that stretch that they had from doing this exercise might carry over and now they can do that back squat exercise correctly without having that heel come up off the ground. In many cases, it's just a person does not feel comfortable getting their hips back when they do a regular squat exercise. By putting this foot back here, it forces you to have your hips behind you. And so they, in many ways, have to do it correctly. And again, you can do these with dumbbells, just like any other list that looked at right. It's the same sort of thing. Straight up, just like that. But again, the dumbbells, you, you're not really creating momentum with the dumbbells in this particular example. That's not necessarily the big disadvantage of them in this lift. But the main issue is that you maybe not be able to hold as much weight as you'd like to in order to do the lift as heavy as you want. So, Again, I prefer the barbell if you have it. If you don't, dumbbells can work just fine for you when you're doing the exercise.